The surgeon will first make a vertical incision down the center of the chest. Next, the sternum, also known as the breast bone is sawed open, exposing the pericardium. The pericardium is then cut to expose the heart and the aortic root. The patient is connected to a heart-lung machine which allows the heart to be stopped during surgery. Next, the surgeon cuts open the aorta, removes the damaged valve and sews in a replacement valve. The aorta is then closed. The heart-lung machine is detached, and the patient's heart is made to function on its own again. The sternum is then closed with metal wires. Then the chest skin is stitched, and a bandage is applied. Drainage tubes may be placed through an incision just below the sternum. A pacemaker may also be temporarily attached to the heart, to ensure a normal rhythm, during recovery. It is usually removed in two to three days. This completes the procedure.